Good morning, you guys. So, I hope you guys can hear me exceptionally well. If you guys cannot tell, today we are outside. We are actually going to be starting my new vegetable garden for 2018. So, I just wanted to come on here and be able to just actually share with you guys how I actually create my vegetable garden. And so, that's what we will be doing today. Um, I typically start everything from seeds. And so, that's what we're going to be doing. I know a lot of people will go ahead and get the starter plants. But for this particular year, I didn't want to do that. So, I wanted to go ahead and just start from scratch with my seeds so I have parsley have oregano sweet basil and thyme and those are going to be for pretty much like my indoor herbal garden because we use so much herbs and I just felt it would just be beneficial for us to just start our own herb garden um, next I got some green beans some garden beans and I actually had two different kinds and then I also got some onion, some kale, some spinach, broccoli, <laughs> squash, and last but not least, of course, tomatoes. So, y'all, we're going to actually just go ahead and get started because pretty much we're just going to be starting them in our seed starters here. And everything that I got will be listed down below and pretty much on where I got them from. Pretty much I got the seed starters as well as the seed packets from Dollar Tree. Um, these were a dollar and then the actual and then the actual seeds packets themselves, they are four for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So definitely check them out. They do work. Um, you just have to, you know, trial and error because some packages may not be as fresh or as good quality um, for seeds. So sometimes they may not actually begin to actually sprout. So that does tend to happen. So keep that in mind. Um, the soil that I use is this one from Miracle Grow, and I've been using Miracle Grow for years now, like for a long time. But I like this one in particular. This is the Nature's Care Organic and natural potting mix and no this video is not sponsored <laughs> it's not sponsored but I just felt like I, um, this would benefit a lot of you guys because a lot of you follow me on my pescatarian journey and you guys have followed me for quite some time and you guys enjoy those videos as well as all the tips that I share and the different kinds of foods that I eat and the beneficial you know properties that they have you know when you eat them regularly so I figured I would bring you guys along with my um, 2018 garden and if I decide to add anything else then definitely you guys will be included in that so yeah you guys so without further ado make sure that you are subscribed give this video a thumbs up and definitely comment down below if you're starting your own garden or if you want to what's stopping you from starting your own garden because i know uh, typically where you live that can definitely play a key factor into actually being able to have a garden but for me i live in florida so if we create one outside or indoors it still tends to flourish so i hope you guys enjoyed this video again please make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it all right queen so let's get into this garden so i wanted to create this series not just solely before myself but i also wanted to share this with you guys as well you guys again as i stated have been following my pescatarian journey and i just really wanted to get back into gardening as i stated earlier i have already had previous gardens and i can insert some photos um actually in at the end of this video for you guys i miss my garden so much but honestly, my family, we've all been gardeners. My mom and them growing up, they all grew up actually just being in nature in a sense. Um, you know, typically my mom, they are as a, they call baby boomers. And so um, my mom was like born in the 50s. And so, yes, like my mom, a lot of people have mistaken her for like my grandmother growing up because she grayed early. And I'm just so grateful to have a mom as I do because I've learned so much, you guys, over the years and have just come to just be so appreciative of the experiences that we have throughout our lives and how they actually help to shape and mold us in this lifetime, as a matter of fact. And for me, I've always loved nature. I've always loved anything like rainbows, you know, sunflowers, butterflies, or anything like that. I've always just been that kind of girl. And plus, too, I'm a Taurus, if you guys are not aware, and that I'm pretty much an earth sign. So I do enjoy actually going out and being in nature. So, and actually partaking in creating my third veggie garden, this is actually very thrilling for me and exciting. So um, as far as like my mom and them and family, they've all 
pretty much have had a green thumb as far as I can remember. Um, all of my aunts, um, again, my mom, um, her brothers, um, everybody, my uncles, everyone really does have a good green thumb. I know my grandfather, when he was living, I remember going to visit him. Um, he lived in Orlando, but where he lived, he was blessed enough to have like an actual stream or creek that passes through his backyard. And so we used to enjoy going over and he would grow collard greens, mustards, he would have field peas, just everything. He'll say, baby girl, y'all need to come on over here and pick some of this stuff up. And I just remember that. And so for me, gardening has so many significant memories. Um, and it just really does, in a sense, just give me some form of connection and a feel good energy when I actually do put my hands and just actually just take this time to just actually get out in nature and to just, you know, just actually nurture and to help love and to watch something flourish and to grow. Um, I know for like my aunt when she was living as well um her name was rose rosemary as a matter of fact and oh my gosh my aunt could grow anything when i say anything she could grow literally anything and i just remember over the summer we would go and visit her she lived in lake city which is here in florida as well and where she lived she didn't live necessarily in the city but she lived kind of on the outskirts of the city and so she had like her own land and everything and oh my gosh y'all i remember just going and auntie she would just have so many different like flowers growing out in her yard or some kind of vegetable or something but she always had something growing and <laughs> ironic enough she was an actual um science teacher and or biology teacher i should say and you guys my aunt she was just so smart and she used to just always have something neat for us to learn from to teach and again it's just those memories that i just have and when i'm out gardening i just in a sense get to relive those sweet precious memories from my childhood growing up and i was just blessed enough to just actually be able to um, you know, learn these things and to actually be able to spend time with my loved ones before they actually passed on. And I'm just so appreciative of that because each one of my family members have touched me in some way or form. Um, and for me, gardening is just one of those things. Everyone in my family can garden. Like everybody can, like I have not met someone who cannot grow something. I mean, literally, and even if they can not grow something, building i mean architect carpentry anything like my family is so artistic i should say um in a sense and so skillful and i'm so appreciative of that and we're just so um used we're just so able to um as just use the tools that we have you know to actually create what it is that we're trying to achieve and it's just such a good feeling and for me gardening does that i just appreciate the fact that it's something that i took the time to actually help to grow to nurture to love and then to actually see it to grow and then to again flourish and then to actually be able to you know harvest it once it has actually you know become mature enough oh my gosh it's such a liberating feeling and then it just makes you want to continue to just continue the process so as you guys can see here i realized that i had messed up with placing the seeds but that's okay i know the difference between what spinach and kale looks like so that wasn't a problem i just fixed it um but i didn't include it here in the video but back to what i was stating gardening for me you guys has again a lot of significant memories for me i know from my mom with just sharing um history with my fam about my family and with my great grandmother she used to always tell me and still does to this day about granny and how they would um just you know how she could cook anything grow anything um how they used to just always have just such good times and memories with her and um it's just those moments that we just need to cherish you guys because i feel that if you do not connect with your family on some level or try to learn the histories you know that you may have in your family you actually are losing out on the most you know like prized position that life has to offer is actually knowing the history and what your family you know has to offer and where you come from in a sense and to just be able to bring that to light and to, and to actually manifest it and then again to see it flourish it's just awesome and so for me gardening does that and it's just a getaway it helps me to just really just reconnect with who i am my roots and then to again just to see the journey of something starting again from a seed and then actually just growing into an actual full plant and then for me to actually just be able to appreciate the fact that i was able to help create another form of life and then be able to actually continue that process again and again so y'all gardening for me is just so much more than just again just growing it has memories it's just fun and it's just very 
it's actually very pleasing i should say and to just again just to get outside and just to be in nature so i hope you guys enjoyed this video queens i will be updating you weekly as to what is happening with my new um i should say veggie garden and again if you guys are interested please make sure you subscribe down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next upload queens thanks for watching bye